Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Isa. Today I will show you how I created this Hobonichi style weekly spread in my Pro Planner. I'm actually using an insert that you can download for free from the Facebook group. I'm gonna leave a link below and I will also show you how you can download that using Safari. Alright, so the first thing we are going to do is of course get the insert and you will type in the search bar digital planners by Printstick or I'm going to leave a link to the group below in the description. You can tap there to open this page. If you haven't joined, click to join and make sure to answer the questions otherwise your request might be ignored. Okay, so once you're in the group, you will have on the left side here several options. You want to look for the one that says files. I have it in Spanish here. It says archivos, but the word is files. And you tap there and you will see all of the files available to download. As you can see, there are other freebies available here. Another good reason to join this group. And the one we are looking for is this Hobonichi for Pro Planner. So you tap there and this is the image you have this button here that says download on the bottom left so you tap there download and it seems like nothing happened but click on your arrow here and you'll have the spread that you downloaded from here you can just click on the export icon on the top right and save image okay and that's all your spread has been saved now i'm going to open my planner and well this is the week that i made already and what i'm going to do now is just replicate this to show you how i did it so i'm just going to swipe and open a brand new week in my pro planner as you probably know this is what the original spread looks like now there's one thing to keep in mind all of these days of the week are linked in the pro planner so if i activate my links by tapping on this pen icon on the top right and hiding my toolbar I can tap on the different days and I'm going to be able to navigate to those daily spreads. Now, when I create my Hobonichi spread, I will no longer be able to tap on those links because they're hidden under my page. To me, that's okay because I can always just go back to my monthly spread and then click on the day that I want to open. But just know that that's going to happen. You will not be able to navigate these links anymore. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna tap on my screen to open my toolbar here. I'm gonna tap on this uh, pen icon again to open my toolbar. I'm gonna click on my image tool and the last image that I saved should be my Habonichi spread, which is exactly what I have here. And what I do now is I just resize it. This is made for this planner, so it's gonna fit perfectly. So just make sure to make it big enough so that the top and bottom fill the edges of the original week and then you can just drag it and reposition it right on top of the existing weekly spread and that's it you have modified your weekly spread now i'm also going to show you how i created these boxes and entered this text because the way i did it is very helpful since if you start adding stickers to this spread it's going to get confusing because if you use your lasso tool to move one of the stickers you will also move your whole spread and that's why i wanted to show you today that if you keep most of the deco that you enter to this page as text boxes or ink then you can turn off the option of images in your lasso tool and then you will not grab the spread when you are moving your boxes or your text boxes and that will make more sense in a second when i actually show you how to do this so the first thing i'm going to do is add a text boxes for the days of the week and to do that i'm just going to tap on my text tool icon here and then I'm just going to write the first three letters of each day. So I'm going to write M-O-N for Monday. I'm going to select my text. I'm going to center it so that when I create the next boxes, because I'm just going to duplicate this box, the text will be centered and arranged each time. So I'm also going to change the font to Roxana Bold. I will also add the date. So that's going to be Monday the 1st. So I'm going to grow the box a little bit and I'm just going to rotate uh, this box. So click on resize and then you can rotate it using this little ball and center it. And I think it's a little too big. So I'm just going to select it with my lasso tool, make it a little bit smaller. And this is where, as you can see, I'm not messing up the background. So the spread that I just added as an image because under my lasso menu, I have the images option turned to off. So whatever I select with my lasso you know the image will not be moved okay so now i can comfortably copy this box and then paste it so i can enter it on the following boxes now i just go and change 
the words and dates here so tuesday second and then wednesday third thursday fourth friday fifth saturday sixth and sunday seventh okay so now as you can see i have this little like outline or box around the days and i'm gonna show you how to do that so just go to your pen tool and select the width that you want so you can test it out I think that's fine and then select your perfect shape tool and the color that you're going to use i will start with like a yellow now under your perfect shapes menu you can turn this option of fill color to on and that will give the shape like a background of the same color so i like that option i'm gonna click on my lasso menu again and turn off the text boxes option so i can comfortably select just the box that i have just drawn and then i can also copy it and paste it to add it to the rest of the days now i just go ahead and adjust them a little bit and add the last two boxes okay now i can change the color of the boxes just to have it like i did here so i had like a yellow green and then it turned into blue and purple so this is actually going to be a green like this and then another tone of green more like closer to blue something like that like this so i have like a bit of color on this part all right now i'm going to click on my lasso menu again i'm going to turn off the option of handwriting and turn on the text boxes option because now i want to copy this text box and paste it right here and i'm just going to use my text tool to double tap select all of my text and then change the font to sabri which is a little smaller and i'm going to write down the times when my son has classes so this um on the weekdays it's going to be 9 30 and then at 12 and that's why i know that he has those two classes on this monday and once i'm happy with how my new text box is looking i can just copy it and paste it and add it to the rest of the boxes here because every weekday he has those classes at the same time i will still add boxes for saturday and sunday i don't want to leave this empty and this day he's off so i'm just gonna add that box that says off i'm gonna copy this one and add it to the sunday okay next we have another text box here that says food and this is where i'm going to keep track of what i'm going to be making for dinner maybe lunch or both so i'm just going to do that right now so it's the same font as this one so i'm just gonna um, paste a box because i already had it copied a text box so i can just turn it and write down food two dots and then use the lasso to reposition it around here okay and then copy paste and then you can copy two at once paste and copy three and paste next we have the materials section so my son needs different materials for his classes every day and i get like a big letter at the beginning of the month with all of the materials that he's going to be using so i have this information beforehand and all i have to do is create these text boxes and add the materials for each day so that i'm prepared so i'm just going to copy this text box and paste it but this was a different font so i'm gonna select all of the text and i believe it was the cuevas font and then just write down the word materials in all capitals because it's like a title i like the way it looks and make sure it's centered make it a little smaller you want to make sure that it can fit in this box so even smaller maybe there and then you can make this box smaller only so that it's out of your way and you don't accidentally select it you know when you're trying to select something else okay and i have another text box with a smaller font under that and that is the kai font since i'm not going to be writing down which materials is going to be using for this week i'm just going to write down some like symbols here just to keep my text ready so that when i'm uh, you know ready to enter the materials i can just open this text box and start writing them so i'm just going to leave everything nice and ready and i'm going to select the font which is a kai font and that is the font shown in my original spread and i'm actually just going to write a word just to see how the size is looking and stuff for example many times he uses bottles like plastic bottles so i'm just going to write that down and as you can see this is too big so i'm going to use my lasso and make this a lot smaller somewhere around there so that i have room to write several rows of materials and then i can also grow my box so that when i start writing more materials i have more room okay 
and now that I know this is the size that I want I can go back and just leaving some stars here to know that my text box is ready but I haven't necessarily entered what I actually want to have written here okay so now that I have these two text boxes ready I can copy them both at the same time and then paste them on the rest of the days so copy and paste to finish these boxes, I just need to change the color. If you remember, uh, here I have the materials word matching this color of the Monday. I have a green here like Tuesday, blue, etc. So it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to match the colors at all. It's just something I want to do. So I'm going to select this word and then try to find a similar yellow one. And if it's not exactly the color, but it looks you know, dark enough and good enough, then I can use that, why not? So I'm just gonna go and pick a color that matches my daily boxes. Now we have some boxes on the right side and I like this way of configuration because again, depending on your specific needs, for example, I like to have a box with this week, things I, that need to happen this week, even though I don't know which day, it doesn't really matter, but I want to get them done. So I enter that in this box that says this week I also have like an ideal workout routine that I just want to be reminded of so I keep that here as well and I'm gonna have this box to keep some like ideas of meals that I can make because I'm always struggling with knowing what to cook or what to feed my child so I'm going to show you how I created those boxes it's very easy again using your pen tool and your perfect shape tool make sure that you have your fill color turned to on and this is very easy because you have your your background has dots i don't know if you can tell on the camera but when you download this spread you'll see that you have dots and this will help you to organize the boxes and make them straight because good notes helps you but if you make like the shape not very square it's going to get confused and it's not going to make it you know perfectly so the dots are going to be really helpful to really know where to turn and then good notes is just going to help you perfection that shape so this is my first box and I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller. I have to turn my handwriting back on in the lasso menu so I can resize it. Okay. And I can actually copy this box and paste it and then just rotate it so that I can use it right next to it. You know, I mean, you can just draw it again. It's pretty easy, but why not? You can just copy it too, save some time. And now I'm going to copy this text from here pasted and this title was this week so this week let me see what else i had here this week and then i have this other text box with a different font so i'm just going to open a new text box and then start writing down my stars remember to have this ready next time i want to start my list here in my box so this was also the kai font and then this is where it can get tricky because now you have a combination of uh, handwriting with a box of text on top. So if you use your lasso tool and you have both options turned to on, I'm going to select them both, which can be helpful because let's say I want to adjust this and bring it up a little bit, then that option is very helpful. However, if I want to align my text quickly I can just turn off the handwriting option and I will only select the text and that's kind of the whole point of this video that you see that even if you modify your existing weekly spread in a planner or daily spread whichever spread you are still able to you know get away with modifying whatever you put on top without making a mess done now I'm just going to show you how I uh, created these boxes on the left which I'm pretty sure you figured it out by now which is basically the same way that I created these boxes so that's pretty simple I'm gonna go to my pen icon this time I'm going to select a white or super light gray color click on my perfect shape tool and start drawing out your boxes so I had a long box here and I had two other boxes here like so you can readjust I'm just going to copy these text boxes because 
I think that's the same fonts that I've been using here, so it's just quicker if I copy them. So turn off the handwriting option to copy your text boxes. And then you can just turn them to white so you can actually see them. And then this other box at the bottom here is going to be things to design. I'm always looking for new ideas and actually if you have anything that you'd like me to see creating, then just let me know. I'm always looking for suggestions. And then this last box is going to be preparation for the following week. So I'm going to make it bigger so I can write prepare for next week. And that's it. My new Hobonichi weekly spread in my Pro Planner is done. I really hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to be subscribed and click on that bell so you know when there's a new video out. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.